All right, first run in elevated, no warm up. Let's see what happens. Are you vest squad or GT squad? <laughs> oh shit! There you go, keep the acceleration. I know some of you are thinking, what's the point of a standing start comparison? This simulates the point where you're climbing a hill and the board just gets stuck. We have purpose here. All right, two more. See how she does. We are out here for the hill climb, GT versus Vesk. Round two, crazy. But first, a very important thing we gotta do. Aldrin made some fucking badass Vesk stickers. Both forgot that my rail guard is black. It would just blend into the black, so we're just taping it on for now. But, uh... Humble beginnings. He's hella brave. What the hell? You wanna try the Vesk or what? I don't know. <laughs> Oh, he's sizing them up. Are you Vest Squad or GT Squad? Oh shit! Okay, I got enough. What is going on, guys? Many requests of having to redo this with the GT in Elevated. Fair enough, because the Vest does have tilt, dynamic tilt control, which lifts the nose as it senses you're climbing a hill. What do you think, Aldrin? What, what do you think is going to happen in Elevated? Uh, uh, less nose drag, so... Could have a chance. GT will have more nose clearance. Elevated, I don't know if it kicks more torque in for climbing hills. Maybe. One way to find out. Let's do this. <laughs> it's photobombing everything. <laughs> Drop in the stats below again. Enjoy, guys. All right, first run in elevated. Same custom mode, no warm up. Let's see what happens. Three. <laughs> oh, guys, try it again. First try, we can see where it burnt out right here. Hopefully, let's try to have the GT progress higher than that. Dude, we must look like like just complete noobs to the bikers there right now. Like, what the hell are we doing? <laughs> we have purpose here. Three, two, go. Is that the same? Is it like worse than? Yeah. yeah, I think it was worse, huh? Yeah, because I think you actually get more of the power. So even though there's no, more nose clearance, it's not enough power. Yeah, yeah, definitely less power. Interesting. All right, you try like maybe one or two more, then I'll try mine. All right, we switch. Guys, that's undeniable. Basically, what this shows is that if you're on a hill climb, I know some of you are thinking, what's the point of a standing start comparison? But this simulates the point where you're climbing a hill and that torque is at a complete equilibrium with the momentum and the board just gets stuck, right? At that point, that's when the vest will kick in additional torque. Whereas an XR or a GT will just, the motor will start crunching and just give out. So this is still simulating a hill climb at the very top when you start slowing down. I'm not even trying to hate right now, I'm just trying to show the facts. Like, what is the potential of the one wheel to have torque? And so far that's being held back. I can try Apex again and then try, try Apex, yeah. Nose Great idea, let's do Apex again and see how that stacks up. Seven, and we're gonna try Apex. You go on the outside, it's a little less. It's like about the same spot. So I think we need to uh, switch boards now. Yeah, make it I the uh, placebo effect part two. <laughs> Anti placebo effect part two. Switch boards. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best, Aldrin, to take you down, all right? Seriously. Still on Apex. And I'll try Elevated, too. Three, two, go. Ah, 
damn it. Stay, stay left, stay left, turn left. Yeah. Okay, change me to elevated. That'd be nice to have like an assistant to change modes while you're riding. I'll take that. <laughs> elevated. Let's do this. My goal is to get past that tire mark because that's where we both stop each time. Aldrin is on a slightly on the left, a little bit more steep on that side. We have a little bit more advantage here for the GT. I'm gonna start further down just to have a little head start. Let's see if that helps. A little running start. Three, two, go. <laughs> Shit. You need a running start though. Like watch, if I start from here, it should be okay. Dante, he's got a GT, we came to the park, just cross paths, just crazy coincidence, and I'm like, bro, you want to help out on a little curiosity test? We figured, can the Vesk help out and uh, take the GT uphill on its own? I know. Let's do this. right there which you're bearing right now yeah that's your way huh yeah wow. you decide there are the demonstration the facts undisputed king right here best <laughs> all right we got dante trying the vest he weighs 240 let's see how she does keep going keep it going held Try it again, but yeah. less sideways. You went higher though than the GT. Oh, definitely. There you go, keep the acceleration. Just keep pressing down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. What else should we do? Oh, you should just it out. <laughs> There's nothing left to do. We're gonna go ride. Vesk is the hill climb king, undisputed. If you have the opportunity, try a Vesk. Highly recommend it. Just give it a shot. Um, hell, just go buy one. You know, it's it's like it's cheap, a fraction of the price of a new board, a used board. I guarantee you, okay. You're not gonna regret it. It just feels so damn good. The smooth feeling is addicting as You don't have to replace your GT. If you have one, just add add this to that and you will see exactly what we're talking about. Innovation is key. Keep your minds open. Keep shredding. We'll see you guys out there. Much love. Push it, push it, push it. 
bonk your GP. Your battery is at what? I think mine's at 20. 66? My battery is at 15%. GT's at 66. I'm gonna get a slight head start. Check out these tire marks, super consistent. Standard deviation. You can put this on a graph. X, Y. <laughs> All right, that was a good day. Signing off.